Alrighty, so we're going to install a 30 amp, 120 volt circuit for a uh, RV receptacle. Here in the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, and 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. They're both single pole breakers, 120 volt, and double pole breakers, 240 volt. Black is live, white is neutral, bare or green is ground. Red and blue are also live colors, and there are a few occasions where the white can be live on some 2240 volt circuits and in switch loops. So I'll show you how to put in a 30 amp circuit 120 volt for a uh, RV, starting from the breaker box. So this is a number 10 wire and this is made by South Wire and it's orange, so that's how you can tell if it's number 10. But other vendors it may not be, but South Wire likes to make your wire color coded so you know what gauge it is. This white would be 14, this yellow would be 12, and this orange would be 10. But here's some 12 that's white and that's just made by a different vendor. Okay, so we're gonna Put this into the box. Yeah, so um, you, you can drill now. So first we will put our Romex connector into the box here. Have a hard hole to drill, isn't it? Holy cow! Now I gotta get around up to these two terminals here. This one and that one. A little more room. I would have a feeling that drill is kind of dull.
throw. Yeah. Oh shit. That's a real thick oh hole, isn't God. it? So I'm gonna just rip my end where I'm gonna be pulling the the drill or the bit? The hot. I mean, the, the bit. Oh. You need the uh, light switch there? The uh, extension cord? Uh, mm, yes. Well, I'm done with it. Thank because you. I'm going to be moving this light when I start stapling. Mm -hmm. Are you taping this? Yes, yes. Okay, now I'll loosen this up and I'll bring this back a little bit. The jacket's not too far into the box. That right there will be good. Okay, so we will bring our Here in this corner. Just the right length, exactly the right length. I couldn't have cut that any better. back in nice and neat. We'll do the same way. We'll bring our white wire up around this way because it's going to be too short to go the other way. So we'll take it. We'll push it up here to this corner. Bring it around. So I'll make my bend right here. This is number 10, so we'll strip with our number 10 hole. And we will put our 30 down here. You 
can see it says 30 on the toggle, so this is our 30 amp. Put it down here, push it in, make sure it's in the off position. Push this back, bend it down, and it'll bring it down this way. And we'll come over to our breaker. Sure, it's in all the way, and it is. Make sure it's nice and tight. And there we are, done in the box. Hmm. All right. It's going okay. So I'm going to staple this wire along the bottom here, so I can save some length on it. And I, Kind of unroll it from the back, and I'm sorry. Can you kind of like unroll it from the back? I did. Oh, okay. I flattened it out. Oh, okay. I didn't do anything up here, but okay. From here back, I did. Okay. Can you kind of like untwist it like that? This way. Okay. I'm not going to record all the stapling all the way through. I'm going to mm -hmm. stop it here and then I'll make a second part putting the outlet in the box outside. Mm -hmm. So that is how to run a 30-amp, uh, 120 volt circuit here in the country I was born in from a main panel. Peace. Thanks for watching.